Good morning. It's Thursday, October 12, 2023. My name is Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Almost Not Yet. And our scripture is Psalm 106, where the psalmist is confessing, Like our ancestors, we have sinned, we have done wrong, we have acted wickedly. The recent violent attacks on Israel by the terrorist organization Hamas and Israel's reaction bombing Gaza, the center of Hamas's operations, is an all-too-familiar refrain of the nearly 4,000-year squabble between Isaac and Ishmael, the two sons of Abraham. If you remember, Abraham, father of the nation that would bear God's name as his chosen people, Abraham had no heirs. His wife Sarah was unable to have children and convinced Abraham to use her servant Hagar to bear a son so that God's promise would have a chance. Full stop. Exclamation point. Whoa, what? Use another woman's body to fulfill the holiness of God's word? What was Sarah thinking? And more, how could Abraham honestly comply with that? God set the matter straight by allowing Sarah to conceive getting pregnant at age 90. How's that for recompense? The two lines of descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Ishmael have been at each other's throats ever since. In the days since the attack on Jerusalem, I've heard a lot of references to the second coming of Jesus as being close or imminent. That may be so or not. Since the advent, the first advent of Christ, we have been living in an era of almost and not yet. His next advent could happen before I finish writing this sentence or not for another 2,000 years. Eminence means forthcoming or looming, so the almost part of the second advent is that it could happen today. The not yet aspect means we won't know exactly when until it happens. In Jesus' own words, it will happen like a thief in the night. Our family experienced that years ago. The thief did not send me an email or call to make a reservation to rob us. He didn't knock on the front door. He climbed through our window at 3 a.m. Jesus also said that he will return when his father sends him and knowing the date is above our pay grade. It will be when the father makes the call. Now we're precisely 52 days before the start of Advent on the Christian calendar which is scheduled for Sunday, December 3rd. Advent celebrates the first coming of Jesus to Bethlehem. He came then to be born, point us to the Father's love, and then destroy sin's death grip on us, the penalty for our sins, wickedness as the psalmist calls it. He did that on the cross as a gift. But Advent is also our constant reminder of the advent of the future, the second coming of Jesus, not as a babe in a manger, the sacrificial lamb bound for a cross, but the victorious Lord and Christ of eternity, bound to defeat evil entirely and set up his kingdom eternally. For you today, Our task in this life isn't to set dates and construct timelines. Rather, it's to live faithfully according to God's word and be engaged in the mission of being his people who love lavishly, share openly, and wait patiently. So, when you hear all the news reports of Ishmael and Isaac at it again, don't get thrown off track by taking sides or trying to figure out how to settle the violence of the Middle East. Stay on mission loving your next-door neighbor and the Lord God with all your heart, mind, and strength. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem, as Scripture tells us, and live with the expectant prayer of the final words of Scripture on your heart and mind. Even so, come Lord Jesus. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.